Once upon a time, there were two very close and very different friends. Their names were Herbie and Teresa. Now, Herbie was a hare. It's kind of like a rabbit. He ran as fast as he could everywhere he went. He could get from here to the oak tree in 10 seconds flat. Teresa took things slow and steady. You know, she was never in a rush, and yet she always seemed to arrive where she was going perfectly on time. I want to tell you a little more about Teresa and Herbie in just a second, but first, it's nice to be with you, my friends. Happy Monday. What do you say we breathe a breath and stretch a stretch? Are you ready? Take a nice big breath in. Stretch those arms way up in the air. Make a silly face to stretch those faces up. Ah, stretch forward. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. Now, the tortoise and the hare, Teresa and Herbie, is a story that was once told by a man named Aesop. Aesop was a Greek storyteller who told fables. Now, a fable is a story that always has a lesson that you can learn at the end, and those are called morals. And usually, they have animals in them. Animals like the tortoise and the hare, our friend Teresa and Herbie. Now, remember, Teresa and Herbie are two very, very close friends, but Teresa moves very, very slow because she's a tortoise. And Herbie moves very, very fast, because he's a hare. He loves to jump around, you know. <laughs> Can you jump around like that? Nice. And, and, you know, Teresa, she moves very slow. Can you move very slow like a tortoise? <laughs> and yet both of them enjoyed their lives just fine. Now one day, Herbie and Teresa were hanging out, having a nice cup of tea. Mmm, green tea. And having lovely conversation, when out of nowhere, Herbie says to Teresa, Hey, you know, Teresa, if you moved a little quicker, you'd get a lot more done. Teresa looked at him and said, Pee you, Herbie. Comparisons are odorous. I do just fine at my own speed. And besides, we all get to the same finish line at some point. And Herbie said, oh yeah, well if you think so, then what do you say we have a little race? Huh? What do you say? First one to the oak tree wins? And Teresa, she had a little smile on her face and she thought, ooh, I'm gonna have fun with this. And she said, okay, Herbie, I'll race you. But, I'm just gonna race for fun, so you don't have to worry. When I win, I won't take the crown. Well, Herbie was all in a huff, and he ran outside and started calling all the animals over, saying, come on, everybody, there's gonna be a race. And people loved watching a race. So everyone came over, and they were all ready, and the owl popped up and said, I'll be the judge, for I am the wisest one in all of the land. Which made sense to Herbie because the owl was the only one who claimed to be wise. So it must be true, right? So the owl stood up, perched and said, On your mark, get set, go! And with that, Herbie sped off into a sprint, kicking dust up in everyone's face. He was wiping it off. But Teresa the turtle wasn't fretting. She just slowly started walking, enjoying the nice sand massage that was raining down on her. And it didn't take more than five minutes for Herbie to get to the finish line, but he was so fast, nobody else was there. And he thought, if I win and there's no one around to see me win, is it even winning? So he decided that he'd just wait, patiently wait, but he didn't like to wait. 
And he got so bored that he decided, you know what? It's going to take her hours to get here. I'm going to go off and do something else. Let me get some stuff done. So he goes off and does his thing. And Teresa's just slowly crawling along, enjoying her day, looking at the sun, looking at the leaves, looking at the little strawberries, even taking a nibble. Mmm. But then she felt something on the ground underneath her. And because she lived so close to the ground in her little shell, she could feel even the slightest difference because she listened. And so, as is natural for tortoises, she went into her shell, and no sooner did she whoop, pop inside, was she picked up and started bouncing along inside of her shell. Now, a lot of people would be really scared with that kind of a thing happening, but Teresa found a way to enjoy it. She started just taking it like she was riding on a horse. And she wasn't sure what was carrying her so far and so fast. But she peeked her head out and saw that it was a dog who had picked her up in his mouth and just started running, running, running. And she said, excuse me, dog, what are you doing? And he said, oh, 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 and of course, Teresa couldn't understand because the dog's mouth was full. But she decided, oh well, let's just see where this ride takes me. And she goes off and off and off and off, bouncing around, bouncing, 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 bouncing. Until finally, the dog puts her down and says, bye, and runs away. No idea where that dog came from, where that dog was going, or why the dog wanted to play in the first place. But she was a little frazzled. I mean, wouldn't you be frazzled if you were picked up in one place and put down in a completely different place with no idea why it happened? Teresa was, so she stayed in her shell for a little bit of time until she heard cheering. She heard, woohoo, yeah, Teresa! So she pulled her head out and she saw she was three steps from the finish line. The dog had taken her all the way there. Who knows why? So she decided, well, looks like it's my time. She stretched her arms out and started crawling. Can you count those three steps with me? One, two, three. Just before she took her third step, she heard a pattern because she wasn't the only one who heard those cheers. Herbie the hare heard him as well, and he was all the way down by the river, picking up stones on one side and putting them down on the other side. I don't know why, but, you know, he was keeping busy. And he, he heard those cheering, and he decided, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, what, what's happening? So he sprinted to the finish line, and just as Teresa's taking her last step, she sees him come out from the vision, and he comes, do, 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 do. <laughs> And Teresa won. Teresa won the race. And Herbie said, no, no. Something like that. And everyone gathered around Teresa and started giving her big hugs and telling her congratulations. And Herbie was so sad. And he started crying. And Teresa heard Herbie crying and went over to him and said, Herbie, why are you crying? Hermie said, well, you won the race, so that means you're better than me. Teresa said, Herbie, P.U. Comparisons are odorous. It was just for fun. I'm not better than you, and you're not better than me. And fast isn't better than slow, and slow isn't better than fast. Slow works for me, fast works for you. And we're all going to get to the finish line sometime. And Herbie said, you really mean that? Teresa said, of course. Now, what do you say that we all go back to my place, have a nice cup of tea, <coughs> green tea, and some lovely conversation, and maybe a little bit of hot, fresh bread. I love bread. And they did. They had a wonderful time. And the moral 
of the story is slow and steady. You never know what surprises will pick you up and take you along on the way. That's all for today, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed that story. We're going to have new stories all week as we learn more about Aesop and his fables. Now get up, go play, and remember, I love you no matter what comes around.